Hey y'all, it's Tara. Welcome back to my channel. We're just going to jump right on in to this design. I'm going to do a white base, uh, Madame Williams Perfect White, on all four of these nails. We're going to do a little bit of uh, marbling today and a little bit of stamping. Just something a little fun and funky and super bright and I just really enjoyed. I, I just had fun. I had fun with this and with this plate as well. So I'm going to be using eight colors. These, I, got, I want to say this is the Made in New York collection from Madame Glam. G Money decanted some and brought them to me, which came last year to visit me. And I'm also going to be using Mia Secret Blooming Gel. And because my little pots here have been sitting around for a little while, so they do need a little bit of a stir. So... I got this cutesy little stir stick from Shein. Uh, I'll plop that all up in the cards for y'all. So I'm gonna do two colors on each white base, on each nail, each tip. So I've decided to pair the blue and the pink. No, look at me go. And I'm just gonna spread a little bit of those uh, colors out on my palette. And once I get those down, I'm gonna take a pardon me i have to sniff my allergies are out of control uh take a pointy little dotting tool and just run it through those colors and just blend them a little bit and then i will be applying my blooming gel i do each tip individually so i'll do this one and i'll put my blooming gel on and then i'll put my colored polishes on and then i'll move on to the next tip so i'm not blooming gelling all of my tips at once if that makes sense so i'm just going to scoop up a little bit of these two colors so beautiful please don't ask me to give you the names because i do not know but i'm just gonna plop them down and because this is a blooming marble there ain't no kind of rhyme or reason to it um, there really is no way to perfect something like this this technique because the gel gonna do what the gel gonna do, honey. So I do just sort of move my brush, uh, the tip of my brush around a little bit. You know, I don't want to mix these up, really. But once I get my product down and I'm a little, you know, and I'm happy with it, because again, it's just gonna do what it's gonna do, I'll set it off to the side. And I let all of my tips sit for a very long time because I wanted them to completely bloom out. Now, if you were happy with this right here, you could pop it in your lamp and just freeze it in place. But again, I just set mine off to the side and you just let it go to town. And the longer you let it sit, the more it's gonna spread around and the more it's gonna bloom. So these are the rest of the color. Oh, sorry, I gotta clean my brush, gotta clean my brush. So again, I'm just gonna dip my bristles into some base coat and then bounce that brush onto my palette and push that gel polish up out the top of those bristles if that makes sense so then I can continue cleaning and I may have to do this uh, maybe one more time I didn't for this particular one but you know if it was super pigmented and super bad I would have so here's all the rest of my little duos that I am gonna that I'm gonna use so this one is, and I think I speed through this really, but this is, I was just obsessed with this green and uh, sort of, it's almost an orange leaning, like a red leaning yellow. Uh, it's just giving me citrus vibes. I don't know. I'm loving it. So as you can see, the tip in the background, it's still blooming. I have not cured that yet. Again, I'm just letting it do its thing. So once I get all of my tips the way I want them or what have you I'm going to take a lint free wipe and just push it up against the edge of each one of these and just pull off the excess because if you leave this really thick gel on your tip honey that's just a wrinkle waiting to happen so I'll go around each edge of this tip and just very carefully you know, you don't want to push your lint free wipe too far up onto the nail, obviously, because you'll you'll pull off the product and you'll just have a white spot there. So I do that for all of them, and now they're all cured. And this is how they're looking. I love the way they bloomed out. Uh, they're almost giving me like like a fluid art vibe, in the sense that it looks like there's some 
cells going on. So I'm going to use Lena's Make Your Mark 01. Y'all, her Make Your Mark 03 plate is my absolute favorite plate in all of history. This is just super fun. And I'm going to use um, my She Modern Black Sticky Stampin' Polish and this big old clear stamper thing. And the first image I'm going to pick up, well, I wasn't happy with it. Uh, I picked it up kind of crooked. I don't know. I don't think you can see it, but I, I seen it and I said, no, nope, not a fan of that. So I'm just going to, this is a little sticky pad from uh, Maniology, by the way. I can't remember what it's called. Manny, I don't know. I can't remember what it's called, but it's got a little sticky thing on it to help you clean your stampers. So this is my second try. And look at this cute little image. I heart street art. Love it. And basically, I am just going to pick up some random graffiti graffiti images like uh, spray paint splatter drip things and this cute little heart. Uh, cute, cute. And what else do I pick up? I don't show you me stamping all of these. So here I am cleaning off my stamper head again. That's super handy. Uh, I am going to go in with this old... Uh, Madame Glam top coat. It's glossy, but it needs to be wiped. And I'm going to really pack it on because I don't want to drag my brush um, through very thin top coat and run the risk of smearing my black stamp and polish. But these, this is going to be a matte set anyway, and I definitely didn't want to go over this black stamping polish with my matte because that probably would... Uh, streak smear screw up my stamping polish so now i am gonna matte top coat all of the things and here's my final design you guys thank y'all so much for watching let me know which one of your nails was your fave i do have a 30 percent off discount code to madam glam again it's bll30 and you can also use the code terra10 at um uh she modern there we go but please follow the links in the description box below. If you stuck around this long, the keyword is graffiti. The keyword is graffiti. Thank y'all so much for watching, and I will see y'all in my next one. Bye!